fiscally bad, that is. Look at this. 2014 KTM 690 Enduro R somehow found its way into my stable. This is replacing a Yamaha WR250R that I had before. The Yamaha's a great bike. Nothing wrong with it. This just has a bit more awesomeness built into it. Um, I've got to the point to where I can kind of appreciate a little bit more horsepower. Uh, I've only got about a thousand miles on it so far, so I can't really tell you how great it is yet. But uh, I think it's going to be a winner. So just some of the highlights of what I've changed on it so far. Went to LED tail lights front and back and the updated resistor to make them work because they're LEDs, they got a lower load. The pipe melted the stock ones right off the bat. The pipe is a wings exhaust. It's a ripoff of an acrophobic, sounds great. Lots of power on it. Rear pannier rack is a Touratec stainless steel rack. I like this rack, it's nice and thick. It fits right under the Nomad rack. Almost like it's another washer here. The uh, Nomad rack by KTM Twins fits on top of it. I can put a Rotopax right back here, which is also nice. It's got the updated filler cap by CJ Designs, which will keep you from getting dirt in your tank. It's just a lot more convenient than that crazy plastic thing that they ship it with. What else I got down here? I like that uh, Touratec rack. It's nice and thick stainless steel, and it attaches in this parallelogram arrangement that helps support the rear uh, fuel tank, which is right here on this bike. Updated to CJ Designs pegs, scratched them already. Some aftermarket uh, chain guard I saw an ADV rider. Flatland skid plate looks pretty good. Giant Loop uh, Diablo tank bag. I like this tank bag. It's got a nice long seat here. There's plenty of room still to work with. Uh, let's see, I've got the highway dirt bike uh, guards with the integrated mirror. Right now I'm running a set of double takes just to help support my MSR hand guards here from the. Uh, rainy Pacific Northwest where I live. Got a Garmin 660 all mounted up here. These are the uh, Oxford heated grips, ADV monster headlights, and a little uh, voltmeter right here by Coso. Turn it on, show what everything looks like all lit up. Should we start her up? Let's see what she sounds like. Cyclops LED headlight in the front of it. The ADV Monster lights are just to, the ADV Monster lights. I normally run them in a daytime mode just to help be seen more than anything else. Let's see. There's a clean speed uh, shift lever down there as well. Got the uh, Scott's mount here with the Scott stabilizer on it. It's got a uh, vibration isolating mount here, which is kind of nice. The highway dirt bike uh, top plate fits into the highway dirt bike guards instead of clamping onto your handlebars. You put them in right here, which is really nice. Gives it a little bit more secure uh, feeling. These Oxford Hitty grips, I sure like these. It's got a nice pattern. It's not so thick as the hot grips. Works pretty nice. Coso, uh, this is my throttle lock, throttles locked. And then if I go the other way, <laughs> snaps back. Eh. Bike's great. It's got lots of power, way more power than WR250R. It'll be a great lightweight touring bike for me. Really looking forward to doing some trips this summer uh, back into the backcountry with a light load, living light and running fast. That's what it's all about with this bike. So there you go. KTM 690 Enduro R 2014. Mmm, she's pretty, ain't she?